You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. You're watching this first clip with 2016 guard Akia Harris out of Chattanooga. Attends Girls Prep, one of the better private schools. They actually just won the state championship. Harris joined on after the JB season to finish out the run there with the varsity. Introducing Akia Harris. I really like Harris's game. You see this in these first couple clips, just working on a shot. You know, I think with her size, she's sitting about 5'3", five, 5'4", five, right now, but really learning how to play the game. We're going to talk more about these shots here in a second, but you're going to watch us work on the form. Sticking to this, talking about that form, you know, I think a lot of times when kids are younger, especially smaller kids younger, you see them really force the basketball trying to get it to 10 feet. Physically, they're not strong enough to really be able to elevate and get their elbow underneath get the shot up high. You watch a kid like Elena Deladon. I was just watching it this afternoon in the tournament. And you watch how high she's able to get the basketball and get her elbow underneath. But she's also 6'5". So you're watching a kid that's a, a foot shorter shooting at the same basket height-wise. So you've got to change the mechanics a little bit. And that's what we're working on here, getting that elbow under. Talented guard plays on one of the better summer teams in the country in her age group. Uh, so it's played against some good competition, probably some of the best that the country has to offer in that age range the past, you know, several summers. Uh, you know, dedicated drives down, you know, over an hour each way uh, from her home a couple of times a week to be able to work out. So there's no question she's going to put the time in. One thing I like about her, you start watching the footwork here as we start getting into some stuff off the bounce and we'll get into some stuff off the catch, off the move. You're going to see her ability to get her right foot around, get squared, and then be able to get to the rim and finish it. She's got really good ball skill, meaning she can use either hand to score it, uh, good with either hand off the bounce as well. I like that, especially in young players. She actually plays school ball with Shadero Clay. Uh, he's going to Auburn next year, top 100 kid. So she's been getting good bump, you know, each and every day inside of practice this year, even when she was on the JV, like I said, moved up for the end of state title run, so she's used to good competition. Switching tracks, you're watching her now, catching and shooting here. Inside pivot foot as we start to really break down that footwork like we talked about a couple clips ago. Catch, square around, then get the basketball up. Wanting to get that elbow underneath. That was really a teaching point and something that Harris will continue to work on, I'm sure, on her own in the gym back home. It's getting that elbow underneath that shot. You see her now on the other side of the floor attacking, using that same footwork. One of the things we talked about inside the workout was being able to, as you'll see, inside pivot foot, catch square. That left foot's going to trail because she's a right-handed shooter. She wants to make sure that right foot is in front. She doesn't have to work as hard on this side of the floor as she does on the opposite side. And then being able to get to the rim in one bounce, you know, even at her height and her size right now. One strong bounce out in front of her, we create that space and then attack the basket. You'll see it again right here. She puts the ball out, attacks, and then finishes. You know, going to watch her here now come off of this curl cut, be able to catch it in stride, finish with her right hand. We start talking about what we call our Ray Allen, Richard Hamilton series. Just the ability to make moves off of the read. You see the, the fade there. She curls. She doesn't have it. Gets her head all the way back underneath the rim. And then attacks off of the other screen as she's going to pop out and fades it to the corner. You see with the fade there, it's not there. You see we talk her through it. Now she's coming. It's an automatic curl. Catch. And then you got to be able to get to the other side of the rim. Attack traffic with that big post player there and then be able to finish. So much of the time, you know, especially you talk about the randomness of basketball, kids aren't able to make plays or make shots based off of the different cuts or the reads they see. So we talk a lot about that inside of our workouts, especially here as of late, in terms of being able to create and read your own shot opportunity. You're going to see the same thing here, just on the opposite side. So we're looking at now a fade to the opposite corner, curl there, catch. Then we have to, got to get through and finish with that left hand. For her, that's her weaker hand. So it's a tougher catch and finish. You know, being able to catch it in stride, as you can see it right there. Take one bounce, get through, and still use your weak hand to finish. Developing ball skill is important. That's one of the ways that we're able to get it done with quality reps. Now you see her attack off of the left-handed bounce, which in theory makes that shot easier for a right-handed kid coming off of your left hand. So being able to knock down the jumper coming off either uh, one bounce dribble, either hand, and then also being able to finish it with either hand around the rim. 